In this video, we are going to integrate 1 upon square root of x square minus 25. So, in order to integrate this function, we will use trigonometric substitution. So, we can let x is equal to 5 sec theta. Then, the differential dx is equal to the derivative of 5 sec theta, which is 5 sec theta tan theta d theta. Now, we will find the value of square root of x square minus 25. So, we will put the value of x over here. So, we have 5 sec theta square minus 25 under root. And then, we have 25 sec square theta minus 25. Now we can take 25 common, so we have 25 times sec square theta minus 1 under root. Then 25 sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. So the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of tan square theta is tan theta. Now we will put the value of the square root of x square minus 25 over here and the value of dx over here. So the integral of 1 upon the square root of x square minus 25 is equal to integral of 1 upon 5 tan theta. <coughs> Multiply by 5 sec theta, tan theta, d theta. Now we can cancel 5 and tan theta. And then we have integral of sec theta, d theta. Now we know that the integral of sec theta is ln of sec theta plus tan theta plus c dash. Where c dash is the constant of integral. Now we will put the value of sec theta and tan theta. So we will find the value of sec theta from here. So we have sec theta is equal to x upon 5. And here we can see that the square root of x square minus 25 is equal to 5 tan theta. So we can take this 5 on the other side of equation. So we have tan theta is equal to square root of x square minus 25 upon 5. Now we will put these values over here. So we have ln of x upon 5 plus square root of x square minus 25 upon 5 plus c dash. Now after simplifying we have ln of x plus x square minus 25 upon 5 plus c dash. Now we will apply the property of log which is ln of a upon b is equal to ln of a minus ln of b. So here we can see that we have to take the natural log of fraction. So this is equal to the ln of the numerator which is x plus square root of x square minus 25 then minus ln of denominator which is minus ln of 5 plus c dash now this c dash is a constant and minus ln 5 is a constant and the sum or difference of constant is again constant so we have ln of x plus square root of x square minus 25 plus c where c is equal to minus ln of 5 plus c dash so this is the answer of the above integral